everybody. I got this inkjet printer. It's a handheld portable inkjet printer from Amazon. And I'm going to do an unboxing and quick demo for you guys. And here is what it looks like on the inside. But I like how there are compartments for everything here. Here is the portable inkjet printer right here. You can see it has a very generously sized monitor or display, touch screen. You can see the on off button right there, the USB port, the power port, and the COM port. And here you can see the back. And yeah, nice smooth rollers for you to roll this across any device that you want to print on. And you see there's an opening back here. That's where this battery goes. It's a lithium 16.8 volt, 2600 milliamp hour battery. It goes just like that. I like how, how these, are, these blue parts are rubbery for a good grip. And there's a nice firm trigger. So there are no accidents. Here's a plate as well to ensure you get the right spot. Here's a user manual, it's pretty thick, but nice color images. Here is the ink cartridge right here. And you can see there's a plastic clip on it as well. So when I open it, um, I'll take it off, but when I'm done with it, I wanna make sure I cover it back up. This should be the charging cable right here. And there's the stylus plastic pen right here and some other miscellaneous parts. And way hidden is this USB stick. All right, so I'm gonna check out the manual and see how to use this and I'll be back to show you a demo. Okay guys, so I had a chance to go through the manual. It mostly goes through the menu system, but let me show you how to put the ink in and start editing and printing right away. So first, you wanna remove this and keep this because you wanna put this back in there when you're not using it, okay? To, otherwise the print head dries out and you're gonna need another one and these are expensive. But it's not the most intuitive to put this in because you just slide it in and make sure it comes out of this head right here, but it doesn't fasten, so it's kind of loose. What you gotta do is like push a little, give it a little firm push. You hear that snap? And now the print head is aligned to the slot right there. Okay, and now I can turn it on. And it's a gorgeous display, five inch display. And you can go ahead and like print this if you'd like. Let me see if it works actually. So um, you can use your finger too, but I just find it easier to, to use this. And I'm gonna see if I can do a test print right now. So you wanna basically press it, let go, and then slide it, okay? So now it's ready. You can see there it is. It printed exactly what I saw on the screen right here, nice and easy. And let me go back and see if I can delete. And print my own thing. So let me make it a little smaller. So I made it a little smaller and you can see my print count is already up to seven now. There it is. Now you can see the full J. So I'm gonna press it again. I'm gonna use this again. I want it right here, right in this slot. So let's see. I think I already pressed it, but there it is. There's the affirmative beep, and you can see right there 
how neatly printed it is. All right, well, hopefully you found this helpful in getting you started and seeing a demo of this. You can also go back and add images right here, but it will ask you to plug it in. So you have to move the image to the USB and then choose the USB option right here and plug in the USB uh, stick right here, which is included. Um, so pretty simple to use. And uh, you can see you can hit text, dates, numbers, um, and, and some other stuff right here. You can read from a file, you can do barcodes and stuff like that. There's the settings, you can set the date and time, your input and export settings, encoder info, your language. So there's multiple languages on this as well. Uh, you can save your files, move them to folders and stuff like that. You can change the font. Um, um, let me see. There is a, nope, yeah, font right here. And you can see, you can change to a lot of fonts and styles, the height, the width, uh, lots of things that you can change, okay? And you can just manage everything through this touch screen. There's a battery indicator, timestamp. Um, this is the model number WK-01. This is how many times you've used this because um, there's a certain lifespan to this ink. So um, definitely check it out on their product listing page to see what that is. On off switch, pretty simple. So now that I'm done, let me show you what to do with this ink cartridge. So you wanna turn it off first. Make sure anytime you're moving this, that the machine is off. You don't wanna put this in or out when it's on. So that's how you wanna do it. So you wanna put your, you wanna put your fingers on this side. You wanna put your fingers on this side of the ink and just pull out like this. And that's how you get this out. And if you're not gonna be using this, Within the next few minutes, you definitely want to put it back like this. Make sure it clips securely. And it protects the printhead right here because these are expensive. You can see there's like a little rubbery type thing right here to really give it a good seal. Um, these things do dry out over time. Um, so make sure you use this after you open it. Make sure you use this pretty soon. Uh, sometimes if you see your printout is not very clear, you can shake it a little bit just to move things around. But um, hopefully you found it helpful. Again, this video is way too long, but thanks for watching and check this out on Amazon.